All right, so I'm going to go over this problem, number 12 in your workbooks in lesson 5.4, solving inequalities and using addition and subtraction. This one states, Rena is climbing a mountain. She's not yet reached the base camp. Write an inequality show the remaining distance D in feet she must climb to reach the peak. So we realize that uh, she hasn't yet reached the base camp. Maybe she, Rena is down here or something like that. We're not really sure, right? We don't really know where she is. That's one reason that using inequality helps us because it gives us lots of prospective answers and makes it so we don't have to find out the specific exact number it is. So elevation problems can be a little bit tricky because we're working with 12,000 and 9,000 and not everything is starting at zero. So we look at what we do now. We know that the peak is at 12,358. Okay, and then what else do we know? We know base camp is at 9,695. Then we also know that we need to find uh, we haven't reached base camp yet, so we're going to have to figure out the total distance, which will be D. Now, if we look at the wording of this, the bare minimum we would have to do is base camp to peak. But at the same time, we realize that we haven't reached base camp yet. So to figure out the difference the distance from base camp to peak, we're gonna to have to do a subtraction problem, right? And that number will give us, will tell us how far this is, right? But that doesn't count for this. So I can't do any less than this, right? So that means that is going to be, we're gonna to have to do at the bare minimum, that amount, right? And since D, if we do the subtraction problem, what we find is that 12,358 minus that is gonna be about 2663. And if she is right approaching that, our sign stays the same, and then we're still trying to get, we'll have to do more than that. Even if I'm like right here, I'm one foot outside the camp, that still is going to be greater than this total elevation gained. So I guess the key thing here is remaining distance in feet, she must climb to reach the peak. We need to show the bare minimum. So we have to show a term that is greater than that. So if you set it up and wrote it as this inequality, that is correct. And if you want to take another step, this inequality will be a good way to write it as well.